Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem Toplitz matrix. So first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically in this question, we are given a matrix, a 2D matrix. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, 6, 7, 1. Okay. Now if you see carefully in this matrix, the diagonal elements from left to right, okay, from left to right are same, right? The diagonal elements from left to right are same. This kind of matrix in which the diagonal element from the left side to the right side are same are known as toplets matrix, okay? So this is the example of toplets matrix, okay? Now remember there is a rule it should be from left to right, okay? Now let's take another example. Let's say I have... 1, 2, 3, okay, then I have 4, 5, let's say not 5, let's say 3, one moment, 3 after this 1 and then I have 5, 6 and, okay, one minute, let's say it's 3 and 1, okay. Now, in this matrix, you can clearly see the diagonal elements from right to left are same, right? The diagonal elements from right to left side are same. This does not make it a toplets matrix because in a toplets matrix, we have a condition, right? It should be the diagonals from left side to right side. So, this is not an example of toplets matrix. So, do not get confused, okay? Now, guys, I hope the concept of toplets matrix is clear to you. Now basically we would be applying two for loops and we are given a matrix and we need to check if it is a toplets matrix or not. So basically we need to check if the diagonal elements from left to right side are same or not. So basically we would be applying two for loops and using those for loops we would be checking the diagonal elements from left to right side. So I hope the concept is clear to you. Now let's solve the question. So what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. Okay. In practice portal in the difficulty section, you need to choose school. Okay. Then you need to find the problem toplets matrix. Okay. Once you find it, you need to click on solve. So let's solve it. Let's read the question first. A toplets or a diagonal constant matrix is a matrix in which each descending diagonal from left to right is constant. All elements in a diagonal are same. Okay. Given a matrix A of order n into m, your task is to complete the function is toplets, which returns true if the matrix is toplets, otherwise returns false. Okay. So I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here. Okay. So let's start. Okay. Let's start. One minute. Now first, first for loop i in range. Okay. And the range is from 0 to n minus 1 okay now this is first one one minute i forgot the colon now the second loop right in range okay this would also be from 0 comma m minus 1 okay now i need to check if the diagonal elements are same or not okay so let's check that so it is if lis that is list okay n that is i and then j is equal to equal equal to list then it is i plus 1 okay over here it is j plus 1 okay now basically this means if over here i am at the 0 row, that means the first one okay this is 0 uh, let's say one minute so i have 1 2 3 4 1 5 okay now the position for the first element over here is 0 comma 0, right? Now, if I see 1, n is for rows, okay? n is for rows and m is for columns, okay? m is for columns, okay? So, basically, in the next one, I am checking if this 0 comma 0, okay? If this 0 comma 0, if I increase the value by 1, that means this would be 1 and this would also be 1. So, 1 into 1 is this one. Okay, and this one is 2 comma 2. So basically I am checking if this element is equal to this element or not. Okay, once I have checked for this 2, then I would be checking for this one and this one. Okay, so one minute. First I am checking for these two. 
then I would be checking for these two. Okay, so this is what I am doing. I am using the rows and columns to solve this question. So I hope the concept is clear to you. Now let's move forward. If this is true, then what? Then I need to return with true, right? So I need to say continue because I need to check for the entire matrix, right? Okay, else if this is not true, then I can just directly return with 0. One minute. Return with a 0. One minute. There is no proper spacing over here. Okay. Now, if this is true, okay, if I check for all the condition, all the diagonals in the matrix left to right, then I would return with the value 1. Okay. Now, to check if it is correct or not, I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay. It is getting compiled. The compilation is completed. And my output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Let's wait. So the problem is solved successfully. And this is how you solve the practice problem toplets matrix. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like the video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.